It's not just the offensive rebounds anymore. He's quite possibly the best offensive rebounder in the league. Now he's grabbing defensive boards. He's protecting the basket. He can switch and guard the perimeter if he has to. Um, he, he was struggling to set good screens. He was setting terrible screens for a long time. He's become a better screener. I, I truly believe that Mitchell Robinson is a top five center in the NBA right now. Like, I think that he's giving us that kind of production. And when you factor in the intangibles as well, like our defense is already pretty good. But ever since he returned, like we're like we, we're impenetrable and it's beautiful. And I'm, I'm so proud of Mitchell Robinson. I think he makes it easier for our, our guards to navigate screens uh, with him being out there and having the help there. So I'm really proud of what he is. And I'm so excited to see where he continues to grow because I think he's only scratching the surface. Look, if he stays healthy, I mean, that's been the key with Mitchell Robinson so far, right? But if he stays healthy, you know, he makes the Knicks a different team. And, you know, people in the organization, even when he re-signed this summer, you know, they felt like, hey, he is just scratching the surface. As Sean said, like, there's a lot more there for Mitchell Robinson to show on the court and what he can do. And so I don't know how far we get along with his offensive game, if he ends up shooting jump shots, shooting the elusive uh, holy grail for Nick fans, the three-pointer for Mitchell Robinson. But there's a lot there that I think is untapped. And remember, you know, he didn't play college basketball for a year. And so you look at his age, you know, he's not super young. But in basketball years, he is very young. So I think there's, there's more to be done uh, for Mitchell Robinson and more for fans to see for Mitchell Robinson.